Hello everyone and be well everywhere you are. In the previous video, we imported the CT scan images into Mimix and get familiar with views orientation. As I said in that video, the first step after importing the images is mask creation. As a matter of fact, this is the basis of creating our computational domain and need more attention because all other results will be affected by this process. Okay, and let's get started. Thresholding classifies all pixels within a certain Hans field range as the same color or mask. There are predefined settings for certain biological materials available in the thresholding toolbar. A lower threshold allows segmentation of soft tissue, whereas a higher threshold segments bone. You can manually set the threshold by changing the minimum and maximum values. For example, here for capturing air region, I reduce the minimum value to minus 10, 24, and I change the maximum value uh, until the air part is well captured. Minus 270 seems a good value. I check it out by moving through slices using the scroll mouse button. OK, and uh, in the sagittal plane, After that, we got to edit the mask to get our desired geometry. For obtaining a better view and, you know, to distinguish different tissues, we can set the contrast values. Uh, we can change the contrast of the images by moving the line or um, the endpoints on the graph located in the contrast tab of project management. Move the mouse while holding the right mouse button down to change the contrast. It just works in 2D views. Instead, by moving left and right, you can change the brightness.
Definitely, uh, we need to perform some operations to modify our mask. For getting a better view, we can zoom in to a region or zoom out. We can pan by pressing the middle mouse button or the shift plus right mouse button and moving the mouse wherever we want. As well as we can zoom in by holding the control plus right mouse button and moving the mouse vertically. After mask creation, if you feel it's not okay, you can modify its threshold to set your desired values. In the next video, we start with performing operations for modifying our mask, such as draw, edit, drop mask, and boolean operations to get our desired geometry. Uh, if you have any questions, don't hesitate by leaving a comment or sending an email. Good luck and have a nice time.